So what we did is we built a light rack here, and this extends off of the frame of our deep water culture system. And then we hung our um, ARC 600 full spectrum LED lights and uh, light rail robotic movers from this light rail. Um, and now what they do, I mean, the, the motors are shut off right now, but when uh, the motors are running, they actually move fully down the length of this track back and forth. And they take this very high powered light, which by itself would just be too much for this one area. And they spread out our coverage. Now we're in a greenhouse. So we were able to do a longer track length just to provide the supplemental lighting that the plants need. Um, I would expect that these lights might be on for a few hours before sunrise and maybe a few hours after sunset. You know, again, these are supplemental lights. The other nice thing is that they have a very small footprint. And so you're not going to be shading the sun that is coming into your greenhouse. They don't create a big shadow. So very efficient lights to use. They're also on adjustable risers so we can bring them up and down. Now let's take a look at the media beds over here. This is the last thing that we'll talk about. Now, the client wants to mostly grow leafy greens, and that's where the bulk of our production is in those deep water culture beds. However, they still wanted to play around with some varieties of tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers. And so what we installed are seven of our Aquabundance media beds. Um, each bed has its own flow control system, um, and you can uh, vary the water height in the trough. So right now we have the water height about two inches above, uh, below the top of the media. But let's say you have larger, longer term crops and their roots reach all the way to the bottom. We can actually drop that water height to just a few inches um, just to decrease you know, what is actually in the bed. Again, we have uh, our ARC 600 lights, this time a little bit higher up, and on a uh, light rail moving system. Uh, the last thing I'll touch on down here is our heater. We are using uh, our AquaHeat propane fired uh, heating system. And um, this is hooked up down here. And uh, basically it works like a instant hot water heater where um, we have a closed loop of water running through a PEX line that goes to a heat exchanger in our fish sump tank. Uh, when it gets too cold, it sends a signal to our heater that fires on a pump t uh, starts turning to circulate that water in our closed loop, and just like that, we have warm water in our fish tank. If we're also operating de uh, coupled, we're operating as one complete system, this will also heat the water in our plant system as well. Um, very powerful heater. For a system like this, it wouldn't make sense to use electricity. It's just so much more expensive. Propane is the way to go, much more efficient system. Um, well. That kind of wraps it up here. I'm happy you guys could join me and take a look at what we built here, our new uh, Flourish Farm in Gold Beach, Oregon. Um, if you have any questions about this system or want to reach out about a system of your own, hit me up. Uh, my email is rob at theaquaponicsource.com or visit our website, theaquaponicsource.com. Thank you.